The United Nations coordinated an international conference on population and development in Cairo, Egypt, on 5–13 September 1994. Its resulting program of action is the steering document for the United Nations Population Fund some 20,000 delegates from various governments, UN agencies, NGOs, and the media gathered for a discussion of a variety of population issues, including immigration, infant mortality, birth control, family planning, the education of women, and protection for women from unsafe abortion services. The conference received considerable media attention due to disputes regarding the assertion of reproductive rights. The Holy See and several predominantly Islamic nations were staunch critics, and U.S. President Bill Clinton received considerable criticism from conservatives for his participation, considering the fact that President Ronald Reagan did not attend or fund the previous conference held in Mexico City in 1984. The official spokesman for the Holy See was Archbishop Renato Martino. According to the official ICPD release, the conference delegates achieved consensus on the following four qualitative and quantitative goals Universal education, universal primary education in all countries by 2015. Urge countries to provide wider access to women for secondary and higher level education as well as vocational and technical training. Reduction of infant and child mortality. Countries should strive to reduce infant and under five child mortality rates by one third or to 50 to 70 deaths per 1,000 by the year 2000. By 2015, all countries should aim to achieve a rate below 35 per 1,000 live births and under five mortality rate below 45 per 1,000. Reduction of maternal mortality, a reduction by one half the 1990 levels by 2000 and one half of that by 2015. Disparities in maternal mortality within countries and between geographical regions, socioeconomic and ethnic groups should be narrowed. Access to reproductive and sexual health services including family planning, family planning counseling, pre-natal care, safe delivery and post-natal care, prevention and appropriate treatment of infertility, prevention of abortion and the management of the consequences of abortion, treatment of reproductive tract infections, sexually transmitted diseases and other reproductive health conditions, and education, counseling, as appropriate, on human sexuality, reproductive health and responsible parenthood. Services regarding HIV, AIDS, breast cancer, infertility, and delivery should be made available. Active discouragement of female genital mutilation FGM. History See World Population Conferences the first World Population Conference, organized by the League of Nations and Margaret Sanger, had been held at the Saal Central in Geneva, Switzerland from 29 August to 3 September 1927. The first World Population Conference sponsored by the United Nations was held in 1954 in Rome, a second in 1965 in Belgrade, a third in 1974 in Bucharest, a fourth in 1984 in Mexico City. ICPD and abortion During and after the ICPD, some interested parties attempted to interpret the term reproductive health in the sense that it implies abortion as a means of family planning or, indeed, a right to abortion. These interpretations, however, do not reflect the consensus reached at the conference. For the European Union, where legislation on abortion is less restrictive than elsewhere, the Council Presidency has clearly stated that the Council's commitment to promote reproductive health did not include the promotion of abortion. Likewise, the European Commission, in response to a question from a member of the European Parliament, clarified. The term reproductive health was defined by the United Nations UN in 1994 at the Cairo International Conference on Population and Development. All member states of the Union endorsed the program of action adopted at Cairo. The Union has never adopted an alternative definition of reproductive health to that given in the program of action, which makes no reference to abortion. 
With regard to the U.S., only a few days prior to the Cairo conference, the head of the U.S. delegation, Vice President Al Gore, had stated for the record, "...let us get a false issue off the table, the U.S. does not seek to establish a new international right to abortion, and we do not believe that abortion should be encouraged as a method of family planning." Some years later, the position of the U.S. administration in this debate was reconfirmed by U.S. Ambassador to the UN, Ellen Sowerbury, when she stated at a meeting of the UN Commission on the Status of Women that, "...non-governmental organizations are attempting to assert that Beijing in some way creates or contributes to the creation of an internationally recognized fundamental right to abortion." She added, there is no fundamental right to abortion. And yet it keeps coming up largely driven by NGOs trying to hijack the term and trying to make it into a definition." Participants National Black Women's Reproductive Justice Agenda See also Americans for UNFPA Gita Sen Commission on Population and Development Reproductive Health Reproductive Health Supplies Coalition International Union for the Scientific Study of Population Reproductive Justice